Shalom, this is your brother Karajazar coming to you with a lesson through the power and spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh And with that said, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Kudash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone from where I learned this truth. Much respect to the whole for elect. And Shalom to you, few brothers and sisters that watch my lessons and get edified. All right, so this lesson is on shame face. Shamefacedness, all right? And I want you to watch this video and then, uh, you know, then we're going to filter it out with the scriptures, all right? I usually speak on a lot, but this I'm going to speak on. Realistically, your man does not respect those women that have their ass out, that have their titties out, that have given the world this opportunity to see their temple. By temple, I mean their body. Of course, your man does not want other men to lust after you like they lust after those women because he respects you and he wants other men to respect you as well. As women, we're very emotional creatures, so we make decisions and we think based on our emotions and we got to stop doing that. Great, woman empowerment. You feel like you're able to do whatever it is that you want to because you feel like it. No, realistically, factually, a man is not going to respect you if you are allowing everybody to see your body, especially for free. Women are already sexualized enough. And you guys who are advocating for that are allowing younger women on this platform to think that it is okay, and it's not. Y'all miss app opportunity to see their temple. By temple, I mean their body. All right, so you heard it. And now we're going to filter with the scriptures. This is Ecclesiastes 26 and 25. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, but she that is shamefaced will fear the Lord. And that is so true, you know. A, a woman with no shame, what do they call her? They call her B-I-T-C-H, you know. She, she's, she's this, she's that. So a woman who, who's, who's shameless is counted as a dog, all right? But she that is shamefaced will fear the Lord. So a woman that is shamefaced will fear the Lord. So she will fear what will happen if she's not if she's not shamefaced. If, if the, the repercussions of what happens when a woman, you know, has no shame, who's not modest, who's not humble, you know, who's a wicked woman. So this is you know. So, you know, um, a shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, but she that is shamefaced will fear the Lord. And that is so true. You know, and a lot of these women out here, they don't have any shame. They're not shamefaced. They're shameless. And that's why they go about, you know, showing their body. Even if they're with their man or they got a husband, you know, if they got a husband, they still go around showing off their body. And that's, you know, very disrespectful. And, you know, these men... They go ahead with it, you know, because they simps, they beta male simps, and they allow a woman to do that. All right? Let's go to uh, Ecclesiastes 26 and 15. A shamefaced and faithful woman is a double grace, and her continent mind cannot be valued. So a shamefaced woman, shamefaced and faithful woman is a double grace. All right? So that's, that's you're held in... That's a high value woman, a double grace. That's a high value woman. And her continent mind cannot be valued. When you incontinent, that means you know, you got no control. When you continent, you have control. You know, she has control over her mind. Everything's together. You know, her thoughts, you know, she's not loose. So when you incontinent, you got, you know, you're not loose. When you incontinent, you loose. You know, you know, she got a continent mind. She had a well put together mind. She's well trained. She's well put together. All right, and that's value. You know, woman who, who goes. And let's look that up, because I don't want to be, you know, uh, incontinent. Let's look that up. Uh, Incontinent. Having no or ins insufficient voluntary control over urination 
or defecation, lacking self-restraint or uncontrolled. So if incontinent is lacking self-restraint or uncontrolled, continent has to be having restraint, okay? So, uh, so, and her continent mind, her in control mind cannot be valued. So she's in control of her own, of, you know, she's in control. She don't let other women outside influence her, other people influence what her husband t tells her to do, you know, what she's supposed to do, you know what I'm saying? And that's, you know, if she's, if she's being shamefaced and modest, she's not letting other women influence her to do the wrong thing, all right? And that's what a continent mind is, someone who's not influenced by outside forces, all right? So let's go to uh, Titus 2 and 5. To be discreet, chas, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua not be blasphemy. And that's so true. To be discreet and chas, all right? Not loose, not, you know, wearing any old thing, not showing off your body, you know, to be modest, to cover up, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, all right? So let's go to uh, the definition of chas. Chas, pure, modest, decent, free from taint, lewd, salacious. Uh, you know, lewd acts. You know, this is First Timothy two and nine. In like manner, also that the women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with braided hair, gold pearls, or costly array. So my main focus is in the like manner of also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shame face and sobriety, all right? Not, you know, flashy, not trying to, you know, get noticed because really the only attention a woman should be get looking for is from her husband. She shouldn't be out there trying to attract attention from other men. She should be trying to attract attention from her husband, all right? And that's how a lot of women get into things is they go out and they try to attract attention, but they get the wrong attention because they're not getting it from their husbands. They're getting it from other men, all right? A woman's supposed to co cover up. She's supposed to cover up. She's not supposed to be out there showing herself off. She's supposed to be wrapped up from head to toe, all right? Let's see. All right, I think I read that already. And... And I read that. So, like I said, this is a short, this is a short video on shamefacedness. All right, I saw the video, and through the spirit, I saw the video, and I just thought that I would do a lesson on it. All right, so shout out to the next. One.